Hi, it's The Wire. It's October 24th, 2024. This is a special high-risk perspective update midweek because the news is that important, right? Nothing I say in this video should be construed as investment advice. I want everyone watching this video to do their own research, do their own due diligence, follow their own research conclusions, right? Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, there was a uh, famed investor that I follow, and he contends that you're looking for opportunities where you're sitting in a room and suddenly there is money on the table in the side of the room. And you stand up and you go over there and you take it. Folks, you have that opportunity right now. The press, for a myriad of reasons, is not adequately reporting the news. This is a major profit opportunity for anyone who chooses to take a look at it. Just understand, silver right now has a lot of uses, right? Solar panels, this whole green energy drive right? Solar panels rely on silver. Electronics, because of silver's ability to hold electricity, electronics rely on silver. Understand, right now you have a quiet revolution taking place in the electric vehicle market. Just understand that silver has a very high energy density and has certain advantages over other items that are being used to create EV batteries. So there is a movement in the electric vehicle space toward silver batteries. Of course, as the world has more people and as we're attuned to health risks, just recognize that silver plays a valuable role in many water purification systems. Well, understand, a huge role for silver in history has been in the monetary system. And Russia, its central bank, recently announced that they are going to start a silver reserve in that country. Now Russia, as you know, they're hobnobbing with other BRIC nations, right? India, China, that's a big time development. They're trying to disintermediate the dollar from their transactions, right? Let's view it through their eyes, right? Um, this is the blowback from sanctions, from countries like Russia having some of their assets denominated in American dollars and then hearing that they've been sanctioned, that they can't get their money out of American banks. This is also the blowback for our tariff-rich trade policy where countries like China are hearing that even when they are the low-cost provider for goods and services, that we're going to slap a tariff on them and that lesser efficient American companies are going to be the players in our domestic markets. Right? So just understand, our actions in part have incentivized many of these BRIC nations to find ways to disintermediate the dollar. As it is, BRIC nations have agreed to development of a blockchain where they'll be able to conduct trade without the dollar. 
Well, now you're getting the coup de grace, and if you're a silver person, and I've been talking about silver for a while here online, and understand, silver is up big. As I make this video, over the last few months, please look at the silver chart. Well, just to understand, now you get the coup de grace. Now Russia is saying, hey, we have a gold reserve, we have a palladium reserve, we're now going to have a silver reserve. What that means is that silver, which has limited supply, right, you can't go out and print silver and understand a huge short squeeze is coming to the silver market because you have a lot of paper silver out there that won't be able to be converted into actual silver. Well, just understand. Russia's commencement of a silver reserve is going to lead to them being in the silver market and buying up a lot of silver. And because they are internationally aligned with other BRIC nations, and because we're in a debased currency world, right, where a lot of governments have made a lot of promises to a lot of different groups, right people who are creditors of the government right folks who are owed pension money they might be owed social security money just understand a lot of countries both brick and non brick are gonna hear about Russia starting a silver reserve and they're gonna say you know what we have to up our game understand too that if fiat currency, if your paper currency, if your paper currency suddenly goes haywire, as it has several times in recent history, in places like Venezuela, right, where hyperinflation sets in, the cost of goods and services becomes completely unreliable. And by the time you finish a transaction with the merchant, the value of the paper currency you gave them might deprive them of their benefit of the bargain. It might have debased to such an extent that they're not getting the profit that motivated them to do the transaction. Just understand in that world, Precious metals, gold, silver, limited supply cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Understand, Ethereum is deflationary now, right? Those means of transaction are going to be paramount. So right now, you have a limited supply monetary asset silver right used to be in our monetary system here in the United States they used to coin silver right just understand that right now you have a sovereign nation one that exports a lot of oil to other countries one that's an active player in international trade they're now announcing that they will have a silver reserve. Trading partners of Russia will have an inducement to start their own silver reserves, if for no other reason than to use it in trade with Russia. Right? If you're a holder of silver, expect a lot of appreciation. And understand, that's on top of silver, unlike gold, still being well below its all-time high, right? Gold has hit its all-time high recently. Silver's far from it. So you have a runway here. You have huge upside. I mean, huge upside. You have subdued market awareness 
right? If you're hearing for the first time watching this video that the Russian bank, their equivalent of our Federal Reserve, the Russian Central Bank, has announced that Russia is going to start a silver reserve, just understand you're still ahead of most of the public, right? We've known for a long time, I've discussed on videos going back years, that silver was a great investment. Folks, right now you're in a room and there's money on the table that you can legally walk over there and take. The price for admission is that you have to buy silver at these prices. Understand, this is not a digital commodity. You're actually getting concrete silver if you buy silver coins, right? You're actually getting something tangible that has no chance of being deemed worthless, right? With huge upside and with sovereign nations competing with you, to buy it. I like silver here. Uh, if you haven't bought silver in the past, understand the upside so huge that you shouldn't feel, even with all the price appreciation, silver's now in the 30s, folks, even with all the past price appreciation, you shouldn't feel that you've missed the party. The upside going forward is that huge. Let me also say, too, the Fed, in a move I consider to be boneheaded, one man's opinion, the Fed recently cut rates, the Fed funds rate. What that is supposed to do is to make money cheaper, to make money more available here in the United States. Right? Just understand, <laughs> they are trying to make money more available as we're on the precipice of a recession as the stock market is hopelessly overvalued. What do you think's gonna happen when people start losing their jobs and the government's gonna have to deliver on entitlements, right? Understand, you know, the amount of goods and services don't just magically increase. What they're doing to get the sugar high is artificially expanding the money supply that's going to augur well for limited supply money like gold and silver right given this news from the russian central bank to me this looks like a layup understand though markets don't go straight up right understand particularly as precious metals holders have known for years Right, You could go a long period of time without the huge upside. Right, Just understand, though, that when it hits, it'll hit. Silver's still not at its all-time high. Silver, in my opinion, is going to ramp north of 40. And if you're along for the ride, that passive income, that politicians are trying to tax, those unrealized gains are going to multiply. Give it a look. Silver right now, to me, here, looks like a compelling buy. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.